Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you a digital clock. So this clock is like any other clock. It has a timer, a seconds timer, which leads into a, a 10 seconds timer, <laughs> but and then it goes into a minute, and then that minute goes into the 10 minutes, and then to one, one hour, and then to 10 hours. So and yeah so also it has a function that you can just advanced one advanced one in any of the cells or the any of the digits so say if I just want it to be three minutes I press that button and it cycles to three and I can easily just add on ten minutes just like that so it's as you can see it's easily programmable and you can even do the 10 minute or the 10 seconds if you would like but also i can just add on 10 hours like you know the time god <laughs> it's like it's 11 o'clock <laughs> but um yeah so I will show you guys a clip of uh, this changing from uh, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So, see you then. So as you saw in the last clip, um, it showed a, uh, you know, it went from 12:59 uh, to one o'clock. So as as this reached a nine, it turned to zero, and then this turned to zero, and then this turned to zero, this turned to zero, this turned to one, and then this went to zero. So and as normally this uh, clock would you know advance from two o'clock to three o'clock all the way up to nine o'clock and then it will go to ten o'clock so it all the logic you know is just based off when this is at one if it's at ten o'clock and it's at two like tw if it's at twelve o'clock basically and then it receives the input from zero wanting uh, this to advance it will get rid of that two set it to one and then set this to zero so that's basically the logic of that and I can't tell you how many how many tries it took me just to get that right <laughs> in my own way so Anyways, I'll show you guys the behind of it just right now. Let me just destroy you. Go over go over here. Left click no, that right click you. There we go. So slash set zero lag incoming. So there we go. So here it is. If you're wondering why it's all like wavy like, it's because um, some of them only need to go up to five, and well, that's that's basically it. And this only has to go up to one. I don't even, I didn't even need to add this counter here. I could have just added a T flip flop and then a little inverter. But anyways, that's. That's not the purpose. So here is a uh, here's the counter on in full. So it's basically um a shift register that shift shifts less le eh, de, can't speak today. <laughs> and that shift shifts left every time it receives input. And here's the clock and starting 
all that stuff. So, anyways, here's the claw, the uh, counter thing, and every time it receives an input, this torch goes on, and if the RS normal edge is flipped, like over here, that torch behind there will be on, turning this off, so whenever this torch goes off, this wire will be turned off, setting the next one, and resetting the current RS normal edge. So that's basically the counter. I'll just slash slash undo, and the roof will go back after a lot of lag. <laughs> And this is the lag isn't caused by the blocks being the quantity of blocks being pa uh, placed. It's only because of the lighting uh, that's down below the uh, you know the roof because it has to go around and light each chunk, which takes a while. It's only the way Minecraft is coded. So yeah. And if you're wondering how I got the display like this, it's pretty simple. It's like a normal piston 7 7 display, 7 segment display, with just glass over it. And whenever a block is placed right up next to glass, it turns black, which gives it a nice look, as you can see here. You can see it from way far away. Actually, I actually got the uh, block next to glass. Uh, idea from Cyber Glitch. Uh, he's a little, you know, he's a guy, so a YouTuber. Just search Cyber Glitch and he'll come up. And he has a really nice, super fast uh, display on his channel, which is quite nice. So, anyways, um, that'll do it for today. And if you have, if you guys have any questions, comments, just leave them down in the comments or PM me. I am not afraid to ask. Or answer, not ask. Of course, you're going to be asking the questions. But, um... Anyway, anyways, uh, let's go into my comment and outro. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.